Hey guys, it's Monica. In this video, I'm going to share with you a quick color and style comparison on a few short styles that I have from Uniwig's La Vivid collection. If you're interested, stay tuned. for joining me. I've had a number of you reach out and ask me to show you some of my short styles that I have from Uniwigs. These were all sent to me over the last three years maybe I and, and they've all been sent to me complimentary so I just want to make sure that you, you clearly understand that. This first one that I have is Lisa and this is in the color Almond Frost. I love this short style. I've worn this a lot. I'm gonna do a quick spin so you can see in the back. If you see a bump, it's because my ponytail is not quite pinned up the right way. I don't have a, a wig grip on. I just have my ponytail pinned up. Anyways, this is in the color Almond Frost, and this is a basic cap. This does not have a monofilament, does not have a lace front. It does have some permatees, which gives it, I think, a really pretty dramatic you know height I can fluff this up if I want I can you know comb it down but I'm gonna come up close so you can see you can see that there is no monofilament there the permatease is quite well done it doesn't show up like do you ever see sometimes the permatease is like super heavy and you could just like like see it a real lot this is not like that I can feel it under my fingers but I can't see it now if you wear bangs you could trim these a little bit if you want I kind of split mine to the side a little bit and sometimes, I mean, you can use some peace out cream if you wanted to really get this to be a little bit more funky and fluffy. I kind of like funky and fluffy myself. So the other wig that I want to show you, this is called Patsy and this is in the exact same shade but a little bit shorter. This is a little bit more of a shorter pixie where this is just a tad bit longer. So Patsy in the same shade, just a different style. Now, if you, if you know Uniwigs at all, you know that they're short. Lisa, Patsy, Liz, and I think they have a few others are all really popular short styles. And in that category, they're extremely affordable and they're always on sale. So you just have a basic cap and you've got some permatease here, open wefted here, so it's really comfortable. These are average size caps. They fit me like a glove. They stay put, they're not too big. They do have a little bit of a, a bra strap type of adjuster that you can do on the bottom. And then the ear tabs are not super hard, but they stay put. My ear tabs come right to my, my you know top of the ear where they're supposed to be and they stay put. The other one that I'm gonna share with you. Now this is, this is Liz, different style. Liz is really kind of a, a wedgy cut when I really like it. So the first thing I want you to notice is the bottom, the back of the hair on Liz, darker. You see that? That's the style. It is sort of like a wedge with the longer edges on the side. Again, this is going to be your basic cap. No frills, no monofilament, and low, no lace front. You've got the, the, the bra strap adjusters on the side, the same type of ear tab, extremely comfortable, open cap. This is really cool because a little shorter here with the darker on the edge, so it's kind of trendy, and then longer on the front. This is also in Almond Frost. Can you tell that when I was picking these wigs to review when I had the opportunity, I always picked Almond Frost because it was pretty close to my, my natural color. So this one I think is really cool. I really like this one a lot. The next one I'm going to show you is, and this one I haven't worn. I have done a review on it, but I haven't worn it out at all. And this is the exact same cut that I have here. This is Lisa. So this is in the color Maple Swirl. This is the exact same style that I have on but in the color Maple Swirl. I feel this is too blonde for me. I don't know if you can see the color. It, but that maple -y color. So it, to me, it's a really super warm shade. And then it has the blonde highlights. It's a pretty shade. It just is not my, my color. But same cut. 
and the last one I'm going to show you. This is the one that I most recently got. And this is the one with their real trust fibers. Oh gosh, I love this one. And this one is hand tied. You have a hand tied cap. This is absolutely beautiful. You have a full mon monofilament cap here that, uh, that you can part anywhere. And you don't know if the camera will pick up on it, but can you see my hand through that? It's the illusion of a scalp. I really like this. This is the Talia and the Sunflower Blonde. I love it. So anyways, I just wanted to kind of give you an idea of what these look like. So you could see the different shades. And you can see that I have Lisa in, in two colors. So lots of different colors. Very affordable line. And I really, I mean, I think it's really a lot of fun to have these summer, I, to me, perfect summer dew. What do you think? Perfect summer dew. This particular one, I haven't worn it in quite a while. But when I used to wear it, I loved the back. I should put this on for you guys. You want to see it? Yeah? Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just going to have to tell you, this is box hair. So I need to push this one back over with some of the piece out cream that I have and then it would stay because I do like my bangs split rather than straight down. But if you wanted to wear it, like I said, you could just trim these bangs a little bit and you could just wear them. But I like them split. I think Liz personally is the cutest style. I really do. I think that Liz with this wedgy look and the longer front is my cup of tea. I like that I can pull this in the front. Again, this is just box hair, so I have to, uh, you know, I have to style this a little bit. A little bit of peace out cream, fluff it up, play with the part. I think this is just wicked cute. I do. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.